The Gospel is Matthew's version of the parable of the lost sheep. Before anything else, my dear brothers and sisters, allow me to share and say something, a few words about the saint whose memory we remember today. Ambrose, bishop and doctor of the church. He comes from a noble family. He was governor of Milan in Italy in the year 374 when he was chosen to be bishop for that great see of Milan. He was the friend and consoler of Saint Monica in all her sorrows. And in 387, Ambrose baptized Monica's son, Augustine. He died in the year 397, full of years and of honors. He was the teacher, the spiritual advisor of Saint Augustine. He is one of the greatest doctors of the church. Let me say a few words about the gospel today. This is Matthew's version of the parable of the lost sheep. This is also found in the gospel of Luke together with two other parables of the same message. Put together collectively, they are known as the parables of divine mercy. What are the three parables of divine mercy? Number one, the parable of the lost sheep. Number two, the parable of the lost coin. And number three, the parable of the lost son or the parable of the prodigal son. The story or the parable of the lost sheep and a seeking shepherd is perhaps the simplest of all the parables of the Lord. And yet it is one of the most beautiful stories in the Bible ever told. God is pictured as a shepherd. He is not an ordinary shepherd. He is a good shepherd. And that is why many of us are familiar with Psalm number 23 that says, The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. In verdant pastures, He gives me repose, and so on and so forth. The Good Shepherd Psalm and the Good Shepherd itself is one of our favorite pictures of God because it depicts the love, the graciousness, the mercy, and the maternity and paternity of God. This parable teaches us several lessons about the love of God or the kind of love that God has for us. Let me enumerate some of the characteristics of God's love. Number one, the love of God is an individual love. It is personal. The 99 were not enough. One sheep was out on the hillside and the shepherd would not sleep. The shepherd would not stop until the one that is lost is found. In other words, everybody, all of us, you and I included, individually, we are important to God who would not be happy until the last wanderer is gathered in because the love of God is personal. The love of God is individual. The second characteristic of God's love, the love of God is patient. You know, sheep are proverbially foolish creatures. They easily get lost. 
the sheep has no one but himself to blame for the danger it had gotten itself into. And similarly, man sometimes is the one who leaves God. God man disappears. It is not the fault of God. It is the fault of man to disappear and to detach himself from God. Some people may also be foolish, but God loves even the most foolish persons among us. That is why for loving us, God must also be a foolish God. He is a God whose love is a foolish love. The third characteristic, the love of God is a seeking love. The shepherd was not content to wait for the sheep to come back. He would go out to search for the lost sheep. God's love is like a hound that continues to run after you until you are caught. God's love is a seeking love. The next characteristic, the love of God is a rejoicing love. There are no recriminations, only joy upon the return of the ship. There is no receiving back with a grudge. There is no sense of superior contempt on the part of the shepherd, only joy and jubilation. And this is practically the same message that we learn from the parable of the prodigal son. Only joy, no grudge, no recriminations. And finally, the love of God is a protecting love. It is the love that seeks. It is the love that saves. We have a protective and a good shepherd with us. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we go back again, not only to the parable of the lost sheep, not only to the characteristics of our God, but we go back to the message of Psalm number 23, one of the loveliest, one of the most beautiful Psalms in the Old Testament that beautifully captures the message in today's gospel reading. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Beside restful waters, He leads me. He refreshes my soul. Amen.